G'day champions, back again with this Xbox Series X, same one as last week, but this time I'm going to pull it apart and show you how to clean the fan on the inside. This is something that anyone could do at home, so just follow along with this video, and if you don't have all the tools, don't stress. Last week we gave it a basic clean up without having to open it, you might want to check that out in the top right corner there or the description, and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, it does support the cause. Now you're going to need a makeup brush or something similar. As I said, these things are optional. You've got a household brush and we've got a toothbrush. Steal one from your brother and sister, I guess. Now we've got the air duster can. Don't really steal one, don't. Uh, air duster can, they're pretty expensive, about 25 bucks a pop. So you can buy one of these rocket ship tools off Amazon. Uh, that's a bit cheaper. And we've got a pro tool here as well. All this stuff is listed down in the uh, description, the links where to buy them from. Now we've got a flat blade screwdriver. And a T8 Torx screwdriver is the actual one that's going to open the screws for us. Then we've got the heat gun or the hairdryer. That one's probably optional as well. It does make your life easier when doing this step if you do preheat this little part. But just grab your flat blade screwdriver, get that off. And then the T8 Torx screwdriver and out comes your first screw. Then with this sticker, give it a really good heat first. Not too crazy though because you'll melt the back plastic. And then you can use that uh, tool flat blade screwdriver, I think we call it. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. And you can use that to basically just get a start on this. If you don't care about the sticker though, you don't have to take this much care. This isn't mine though, so we're gonna take care. Now we're gonna remove the second screw of the lot. There's not many in here, so take note of these. Now with this, grab a metal pry tool and try and sort of, you can see, there's little tabs here that I've got shown. You wanna get in near those and sort of push them in a little bit and push up. That action's really, really hard to describe on video. I'm sorry if people have trouble there. Now make sure to slide this out to the right as you do, because there's little tab things as well. So you don't want to get them caught trying to remove it. Then grab your household brush or your makeup brush or toothbrush if you're desperate and give all that a good brush up, although it does stay pretty clean. And be careful of that foam I've just marked out there. That's where you probably want to use the soft brush instead. Now we've got the main areas for build up of the dust getting pointed out here. And then I will show you just how to disconnect the fan quickly as well. Just do that before we forget. Now three screws just marked out there. We'll just skip through this pretty quick, but they're the T8 Torx again. And they're your last three screws for the job. So pretty straightforward, as I said. Now get your household brush, your makeup brush, any old brush and start brushing away. Uh, just get in here, be really careful. You see I'm avoiding those cables and stuff in the center. Don't need to go near them, it's not dusty and they're very delicate. You do not want to break those. Same with a lot of these cables and stuff and bits and pieces down inside the machine. Just be really, really gentle and just try and remove dust. Don't try and go ham on it. You're just trying to remove dust, remember? Okay, so probably go the makeup brush down in it if you want to be really careful. All right, anyways, aside from that, you can see I'm using the rocket ship blower tool or you could use compressed air. That's going to get all that dust out and then I'm going to remove the fan. Now we want to give the fan a proper clean up. This stiff brush, I do prefer myself, but you can damage the fan if you're too rough on it. This is sped up footage. So I was a bit more careful than this. Now you can see all the dust that's flying out on the white table there. Big chunk just flew out there. Once that's done, probably a good idea to get a blowy tool and or compressed air again and just clear off anything. We're really trying to remove all the dust from this thing if we can. Uh, don't put any liquid near this either. Not necessary. Just, just clean it to this and clean it regularly and you'll see it comes up pretty good. So from that, I'm going to take a risk, put the brush down in here. But again, if you're not comfortable or if you don't know what you're doing, I wouldn't suggest doing this. Just use the compressed air instead or the blowy tool like this. And that's just going to get rid of any excess dust that we missed the first time, I guess we'll say. You can see the Xbox looks pretty Mickey Mouse by the end of this. I've got other videos, as I said, on how to clean up more of these. So it would be pretty cool if you guys check them out. Hit the like and subscribe button, as we all ask as YouTubers. And I hope to see you in my next video.